Temperature minus 15 on the This holiday season, invest in some LED Christmas lights. They use significantly less energy than regular bulbs. When we each share our one thing, it becomes a million things for our planet. What's your one thing? WWJ News, time is 428. Time now for traffic and weather together every 10 minutes on the 8th. Once again, with a look at traffic, here's O'Neill Speed. Going and drifting snow affecting the drive. We're watching an accident eastbound I-94 at Sheen. Soon, a left lane and shoulder is blocked or slow from I-75. Now, there are still some flight cancellations. 
Grizzlies and Blaze, and people are hoping and praying their plane gets in the skies. Charisma Moraine from Detroit is headed to Cancun, Mexico for crisp like freezing temperatures and high wind gusts. One of the busiest airports in the nation, Hartsfield Jackson Atlanta Airport, Travelers are now seeing multiple delays and cancellations. We had a chance to speak with a traveler who was going to Jamaica and a lot warmer and she was a lot more excited to go there than to be here. Getting up early, making sure the coffee's ready because it's cold outside, preheating the cars and getting everything in there and it's been a lot of work but we made it. Now keep in mind that just really gauge for about a 40 minute experience when you do get here before you can even take your shoes off and remember these frigid temperatures are going to cause more delays. That's reporter Tori Cooper. Well, the roads and stores are packed with last minute shoppers, either trying to check off items off those Christmas lists or even stuck their pantries with food. The shoppers today at the South Park Mire are trying to get in yeah, and the truck. the winter mm. weather conditions. Salt the road. Yeah, they're putting the salt right. Being Shopper Kirk Anthony says he has to leave the house for his job no matter what the weather is outside, but when it's icy uh. and snowy like it is today, he makes sure his car is prepared. అన్ని చోట్ల సాల్ట్ పోసుకుంటూ ఉంటది ఆ సాల్ట్ వలన ఈ మంచు అనేది కరిగిపోతుంది అది ఎందుకు కరిగిపోతుంది ఏంటనేది నేను తర్వాత మీకు ఎక్స్ప్లెయిన్ చేస్తాను ఉంటుంది <laughs> bill represents the closing act for Democrat Nancy Pelosi's second stint as House Speaker. The person hoping to replace her, Republican Kevin McCarthy, led the opposition to the bill. That's a sharp contrast to the Senate where leaders from both parties supported the measure. The House chamber was half empty for the vote, with many lawmakers casting proxy votes, having left Washington early to ensure that they made it all for Christmas. WFJ News Time 438 traffic and weather together every 10 minutes on the 8th. So Neil Stevens, how's our drive? We've got something new this time, Brooke. We've just picked up a new reported accident with the Waze app. He's found 696 at Greenfield. Traffic slowed from Southfield Road. An accident still looking to clear westbound I-94 at M10 The Lodge. It's over to your right shoulder. He's found 94 at Shane. Still a left lane. Left shoulder is blocked. Traffic slowed from I-75. You also have a second crash southbound I-75. That ramp to eastbound I-94. Found Donald Power Line southbound Little Mac after 13 mile in Roseville. Thanks to tipster johnny he says emergency crews are blocking the right lane we appreciate you traffic lights still out telegraph road us 24 and joy road in detroit and us 12 michigan avenue and belleville road in canton township traffic lights out there treat that as a four-way stop update us like johnny on the tipster line when you see something at 248-423-6wwj we have your next update at 448 less than 10 minutes away in the tummies sub shops traffic center here's the actual weather forecast now we're joined live by meteorologist which is Brian Thompson. Good afternoon, Brian. Hey, good afternoon, Tony. A very cold afternoon. This is probably about as cold as the temperatures between about zero and five degrees above zero. Some spots, though, are below zero, and we saw this wind that will not give up. Uh, it is still gusting at times as high as 40 to 50 miles per hour. Active weather real field temperatures are, are in the 25 to 35 below zero range uh, as the so winds continue to be uh, pretty gusty. We didn't have uh, some snow falling. It's mostly pretty light, but it doesn't matter because the wind is blowing all the snow around, creating your blizzard conditions. So even though there might not be a whole lot of 
snow falling. The snow was blowing around is really reducing visibility, and we've seen it have some icy roads and sidewalks as well. So uh, we'll see temperatures holding the single digits. So we're heading into tonight, Maria feels pretty much holding steady too. Now the snow could accumulate another coating to an inch or so into tomorrow. You really won't notice it though. It, again, it's just going to be blowing and drifting throughout the day tomorrow too, as winds likely gusting over 40 miles per hour. Now tomorrow, uh, looking at the numbers, is not going to be as cold as today, but we'll still have a high of 16. Real field temps 10 to 20 below zero. It's still not a day you want to spend much time outside again. A few flurries tomorrow night, brisk and cold. Temperatures holding in the teens. Uh, as we get into Christmas Day, it won't feel quite as bad. Still cold and still brisk, but not as windy. A flurry or two around a high of 22, and it'll stay in the low to mid-20s into Monday and Tuesday with clouds a bit of sunshine. But we should see things warm up some as we get later on into next week. It is four below zero right now in Hillsdale, two at Metro Airport, and it's five downtown. I'm AccuWeather Meteorologist Brian Thompson on